Do you remember your first experience ever on the internet? Your first web browser? Your first search query? I remember mine. It was in 1994. Almost no one had heard of the World Wide Web. The first version of Netscape was just about to be released. The year before, Tim Berners-Lee had released the source code for the world's first web browser. But like everyone else, I had only remote notions of this. People were only beginning to hear the word internet in the news, but didn't realize what the online world could mean. Surely, this was some kind of funny gadget that was to last a few weeks and be quickly forgotten. At that time, I was a student and I used my 486 PC for graphic design. I was really enjoying that and I couldn't imagine any better computer usage except when a good new game was released. I was far from suspecting that a whole new technology world would soon open before me. The scene took place at my father's office, in a company where the IT department was using some of the latest technologies. I was looking at a Macintosh screen. Apple was among the pioneer companies that helped popularize the World Wide Web and make it accessible to a lot of people. I don't remember what browser this machine was running. I think it was Samba or maybe Mosaic. Either way, my father told me, this is a search engine. You can type in whatever you want. Just enter a few words and look at the search results from all around the world. I was intrigued. How could such a thing be possible? Was it some kind of magic? But I didn't hesitate long. I searched for the same thing I would have in a library when looking for rare or new editions. I typed Tolkien. And you know what? At this time when there was nothing yet, no online stores, no YouTube, no Google, no Amazon, Facebook, or Twitter, when Microsoft was just launching its first web page, which looked like this, and when people hardly knew what an email address was, yet even at this time, there were web pages about Tolkien. Isn't it something? Isn't it revelatory? And this was almost a decade before the Lord of the Rings movies were released. I was puzzled. A pity the Internet Wayback Machine has websites archives from 1996 onwards only, but what you see here is not very different from what I saw in 1994. I remember the page where Lozo was one of the oldest, and also one of the best galleries of pictures related to the world of Tolkien. Back then, I downloaded this picture of Gandalf to make it my desktop wallpaper. I still have a paper version of my Windows desktop that I printed back then, almost 30 years ago. As for this one, Bilbo's home at Bag End, I tried to replicate it using 3D Studio at that time, somewhere around 1996, and even fancied to make some animation. It's right here on these iOmega Zip and Jazz discs, but unfortunately I don't have the drives anymore and I need to buy them again. Another interesting fact, as early as 1995, people were discussing a future Lord of the Rings movie in Usenet newsgroups, which were the ancestors of all online forums. Here's a sample. Just look at the date, 1995. That's 27 years ago. I can tell you that at this time, Tolkien wasn't known to as many people as it is now. True fans would roam about in libraries, searching for rare book editions and editors would occasionally have something special like this centenary edition from 1992, but that's about it. If you asked someone about the Lord of the Rings, he'd think you're some geek. Let's have a close look at what people wrote in forums at that time. Google has acquired the historical news groups, so you can find on Google Groups some threads that you read 30 years ago in Usenet forums, and I found the very same conversation I was looking for. Here are some quotes and very interesting suggestions about the character cast. So far, I've seen a lot of people on this news group that desire a movie of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. This is my personal idea as to how such a movie should be made. Feel free to agree or disagree. There should be no singing, unless it's a part of the book where Tolkien decided that a brief soundtrack was necessary. The child approach is the approach to avoid in the movie. We are seriously looking at PG to PG-13 rating here, which means that Disney can't have it unless it goes under the Touchstone label. 
The movies have to be a little scary, but I think that should embody what JRRT was thinking, that this was a conflict of good versus evil where some political undertones exist, and not simply a group of shiny leprechauns with rings fighting against a dark boogeyman that resembles an eyeball. I too have thought a lot about an LOTR films. I disagree about your views on music though, although the music did get a bit annoying in the animated versions, music is obviously essential to any film. I'd like to see Tom Bombadil singing and dancing around. How about Leonard Nimoy as Elrond? I could sit here forever thinking up a cast list to no avail. To any directors, producers, writers out there, write up a proposal and get this thing on the move. Let's have a little fun. Who would you not want to see in a film version of LOTR? Just some ideas. Leonard Nimoy as Bombadil. Bobcat Goldthwait as Gandalf. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Pippin. Jack Nicholson as Frodo. The possibilities are endless. How about Jim Varney as Denethor? Rodney Dangerfield as Aragorn. Christopher Lloyd as Gandalf. Robin Williams as the Nazgul Lord. How about Roseanne Arnold as Lady Arwen? James Earl Jones as Legolas? Michael Douglas as Gimli? The guy who plays Scotty as Samwise Gamgee? Pee Wee Herman as Elrond? Emmanuel Lewis as the Gaffer? Shaq O'Neal as Faramir? Gary Coleman as Theoden, Lord of the Mark? Who do we really not want to be Gollum? Who do we not want to be Bilbo? This subject is very interesting. I've had a while ago with some of my friends a discussion about this very subject. We thought that there would be more directors needed to perform such a huge task, but Spielberg and Lucas were the first we thought of. Here's my two cents worth. Gandalf, Sean Connery with a long beard. Saruman, Commander Picard from Star Trek The Next Generation. Gollum, Danny DeVito. Aragorn, Val Kilmer. We'd better put an end to this thread soon, or I'll be having nightmares. There were many threads like this, discussing a future movie based on Tolkien among the very first large audience internet groups. I think it reveals the power the books had on the readers and how they impressed their imagination. Just a few weeks after I first discovered the online world, I had my home provider and my email address. In 1995, the web flourished in its first real large spring. I wonder, how many of you were using the first search engines and web directories? Yahoo? Infoseek? Webcrawler? Lycos? LookSmart? Excite? AltaVista? What a time! It was like a new far west. An uncharted, enchanted world which opened so many possibilities, so many opportunities, and where everything was yet to be invented. Another few weeks later, I began creating HTML pages. Yes, my first personal web page dates from 27 years ago. But that's another story.